you are watching Momo Bigner Swings. For further tutorials, please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox. Hey guys, this is Momo and welcome back to Momo Beginner Sewing. Today we are making a first time apple box pleated dress with the rig making of our free pattern, simple dress pattern. So let us start with our work. You can see that I have taken my simple dress pattern. Uh, which uh, from which I've just mapped it and on my fabric which is a gingham fabric as you can see uh, in a blue and white a very uh, sailor kind of look it's giving to me but I'm using it and it looks very nice at the end you can see that but uh, right now as you can see I have just cutting the bodice part the bodice and you can see that, that I have using a front bodice but I am cutting a back bodice uh, it is kind of uh, a mishap by, by me I've just lost my back pattern so and didn't want to print it again so that's why I'm just using it uh, you don't worry just go to the dresscraft.com and download it and use it for this one we are making a dress for a girl of um, uh, 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 around 20 inch in length which is about three to four year girls and uh, now you can see that I'm again mapping the front bodice pattern which is ninth inch in length so you can grab the pattern from the dresscuff.com and uh, you use it over here okay so it is uh, going to be a uh, great easiness for you guys I'm going to attach the some placket on it and we have a uh, two double bodies basically one is going to have a gingham fabric the our main fabric and the other one is going to have a, a embroidered piece which is going to cut it in a different way not in a different way it is a different version of our bodice but I'm going to include the pattern of that bodice in the description below as well so you can download it so this is a free version this uh, this dress is going to contain a pattern patterns which is you can grab from dresscraft.com in a free way so this is already listed on a dresscraft.com because we are making a simple dress pattern and using it in a different way so this is a different kind of variety you can say a new version of a simple baby dress if you don't know how to uh, if you don't watch our tutorial you can uh, go to the playlist and just uh, search a simple baby dress you're going to, uh, you're going to find out it you can see that I'm done with uh, my front and back one so let me grab my fabric you can see that this is my fabric which is going to be a skirt uh, so our fabric is uh, the skirt size is going to be a 10 inch in length um, and our bodice is going to be 9 inch so this is the main point that our bodice going is going to be a lesser in length and it is going to be and our skirt is going to be higher in the inches because I'm going to add a 2 inch by step at the bottom so it has become a more longer so it in, in total our skirt is going to be have a, a, a 10 to 11.5 inch in length this is my bodice and this is my skirt now what we are need to do we need to do a we are left with our sleeves and then we need a embroidered cut as you can see i'm just making a simple sleeve over here this is my puff sleeve pattern i've just uploaded a simple cutting of it on my facebook.com uh, which is which address is facebook.com slash dress crafts uh, you can find the link in the below section as well but, uh, because uh, if you don't want to download this pattern then um, the particular pattern because it doesn't include in a simple bodice so uh, uh, in total we have a uh, three patterns in this 
tutorial number one is for simple bodice which you can download it from dress for dresscap.com then the embroidered piece which is going to be a second bodice layer uh, and the third one is the sleeves but the sleeves cutting you can grab it from the you can find it on the dress uh, facebook.com slash dress cuffs because i've just uploaded the simplest way of how you can cut a puff sleeve pattern in a very simple way without using any pattern but if you are pattern lover then uh, I've, i'm going to link the uh, section in the below as well so this is a basic three pieces which is done uh, according to cutting part I'm not um, uh, let me see whether I'm going to cut the uh, embroidered piece over here or not as you can see I've done with my embroidered piece cut it I've just take my front bodice and map the embroidered piece on it as you can see it is wider than the front uh, it is it is wider than the our bodice the different bodice so I'm just going to join it because it is going to have a placket on it so it can we can join it from the front side this is the third piece uh, the third pattern which is going which is going to available in the description description section so you can download it from there I'm just uh, joining my placket with having a lace on the on the side of it. I've just tell you that we have just uh, joined the uh, apply the placket on the embroidered piece which is the first layer of our bodice and now what I am doing I am just making a uh, bodice piece which is going to be a main bodice and it also have a placket so this is a double placket dress uh, which is going to give us a very nice vintage look We are just folding the placket on the our lace as you can see uh, I have done with my placket now what we are doing I am just uh, applying the uh, by stave along with the neckline and just going to do that uh, along with the neckline and just uh, done uh, going to do it you uh, just wait and let me done it. As you can see I am done with my by step thing and our placket the both plackets are done and we are we have a double layer now uh, what I'm going to do we need to just what we need to do first we need to set it the placket should be on each other just what we need to do and uh, we are just joining it you can see we are going to sew it on the top and this is the back side which is uh, which is going to have a zipper on it as you can see we are done with our zipper and uh, we have done with our shoulder seam as well now what we are going to do we are just need to join our shoulder part we are joining our shoulder from front and back bodies
this is a very basic and simple step so i'm just uh, making it a super quick and uh, uh, super quick and fast way as you can see we are done with our uh, shoulder seam so i'm just going to attach the uh, bias step on the neckline and then going to attach the sleeve uh, sleeves on it you can see that i'm just going to make it as in a super quick way uh, what i'm going uh, doing uh, we i'm just doing a simple sleek single seam so uh, i'm going to give a gathers on it just giving a small small gathers this is a manual gathering you can see that if you are mm, you if you are not a beginner or even not an intermediate and you are um, experienced Swiss, so you didn't need it need it but it is a very good way to give it if, uh, if you are doing it on a sleeve this is a super easy way you can see that In total, we need a nine inch. Now I'm going to balance it. So it is, it should be in a middle. The maximum gather should be in a middle and we are going to have a small ruffles or at the uh, at the armhole size, uh, at the armhole uh, side, uh, on with along with the shoulders. Now what I'm doing, I'm just um, uh, giving uh, little dimensions to the front side of the bodice, which we uh, we have done with our gathers. So what I am doing, I'm just applying a white embroidered bias tape along with the hem line of the sleeves you can see that now I'm going to fold it you can see that I'm just folding it and just going to have this thing so it is kind of pipe and kind of thing which is going to look in a very nice and delicate in our dresses so and it gives a, also gives a vintage look here you go A very nice bass tape uh, looking thing and going to have a gather on the from at the shoulder side I'm just giving it manually so you can grab an idea from where to where you should have a gathers You can see that this is our bodice and I'm going to attach our sleeves over here. There's no gathers at the end of the armhole. We just need to do it at the top side of the shoulder. The midpoint is going to have a shoulder and then 2 inch from the front and the 2 inch from the back. I am giving a manual gather so it is a, another choice you can do and if you don't want to do a manual gather you can just go for a uh, gather along with the machine, sewing machine. Guys please if you are liking our videos please subscribe to our channel and visit our dresscraft.com download a free pattern also comment in a section below so we know what you guys wanted from us and we can taught you for the, that also give us a gift different ideas and if you what you are liking or what you are not liking
so we are done with our sleeve section um, this is a puff sleeve a very nice puff sleeve with having a bias tape at the end and having gathers on the both side it is a very beautiful one so let me do it for the second one as well and you can see that that I'm done with our second uh, one as well now what we need to do we need to apply a gather uh, we need to apply a skirt on it uh, so I'm just going to set up the skirt along with our notches you can see that I've just uh, fixed the first notch on the front side the just attached the front, uh, front uh, notch with the dress side we are going to have a four notches the first notch is there i'm going to do a little bit of uh, measurement over here two we need a 2.5 inch margin between each uh, notches basically we are going we are not making notches over here we are going to have a pleats on it so we need to do you can see that what i'm doing i'm going to start i'm starting it from the from the left end just starting it and giving a little bit of folding a half cent half inch or uh, 0.25 inch fabric and just going to have a seam on it again I'm giving a pleat from the both side the front and the back We are going to have uh, pleats on the points which I have just marked by having a 2.5 or 2 inch distance. It all depends on uh, the pleats that uh, how much pleats you want. If you are not getting the pleats section or you are having any trouble by understanding it let me know. I am going to have a different dress as well with the box pleats uh, because it is not uh, as some as easier please to done so we need to if you are not comfortable with it I'm going to have a different and easiest version for you guys so uh, maybe we are we uh, you are going to grab the idea from it as well so as you can see I have done with my front section please there are five pleats as you can see the five points so this is the easiest one uh, which uh, we can do with our box pleats now we are done with our front side I am making our bottom one I am just attaching the bias tape of uh, 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 the strap of uh, 2.5 inch in land and just attaching it uh, at the end of the uh, at the bottom of the dress which is going to have a fold and then again I am going to sew it now I'm just folding it as you can see and this this kind of thing it is going to seam on it It is kind of ribbon which is going to have which is going to not uh, at the at the uh, beside so I'm just uh, going to have I'm just attached it I just attached it and now I'm going to have a finish seam on the box pleat and the bo uh, bodice uh, joint section so it is not going to uh, give a unclean look 
it should be a, a final finish line there should be a final finish line now I'm attaching the other one here as well as you can see we didn't attach the side till now because we didn't done with our bottom one and uh, it, it is uh, the notice section should be uh, the, the notice section which is going to have on the back on of the baby so it uh, gives a lit, uh, nice and sleek fitted look for the babies as you can see i have done also done with our back side pleats and the bottom as well now i have just see you my size of the dress uh, and the remaining thing is that that we need to do a bottom strap seam as you can see this is a very nice and uh, looking vin vintage kind of look this dress have i'm just going to have the bottom fold over here remember that th this bottom fold should be 1.2 inch or if you want to make it a little bit wider and want a baby dress a more uh, if you if you are making it for 24 inch size or 22 inch size just uh, uh, try to add some dimension with to the by step of the bottom side so it just become uh, it gives a land to it and it looks very nice and the front bodice shouldn't uh, need to be adjusted according to it because it is, it is good for this it is good uh, this size is good for um, for 20s till 24 inch uh, dress now I'm just folding the strap at the end We need to apply the rickrack lace or any lace, but rickrack lace is going is going to suit it over here at the joint section, or you can see uh, you can see a joint seam line of the strap and the skirt bottom, so it doesn't look unclean, or you can see a fumble kind of thing appear over here. So we just need to do it in a quickest way. We are just finalizing our rick rack lace and after that we are just done with this dress. So this is a double blacked dress with having pleats a box pleated on it it has a puff sleeve it uses our simple baby dress pattern so just grab these pattern and make your own version of our simple dress pattern thank you so much for watching us please share our please share our tutorial and like this video and share this one thank you so much so this is the final look of this tutorial hope you like this tutorial please subscribe to us like this video and share this video as well see you soon